Hey everybody, it's James with Cold School, and this is a follow-up to the uh, using concrete bricks in uh, to uh, I guess uh, versus ice or versus plastic frozen water bottles or plastic frozen salt water bottles. And today, I, uh, it's evening now, but this afternoon I took eight frozen cement or concrete bricks. And I froze them in the deep freezer for, no, two of them were frozen for a really long, probably a couple of weeks. And I bought six more and I froze those for two days in the deep freezer. And I ran them in this cooler. This is my testing cooler. This cooler is, uh, it's not insulated. It's not for purpose of, it, I mean, it gives relief. I use it for that in the afternoons uh, when I'm in the van in town. But, uh, so this is just a real old, it, uh, real old, not very well insulated, uh, I guess it's a 48 quart cooler. Um, so this is just, I test with this one or a little 9 quart because I'm always cutting them open and everything. So anyway, nope, oh, got an ant. So today, I... Now I switched over after I did the bricks to the uh, ice bottles and instead of ice I've just been experimenting with, uh, with that. But I wanted to give you the results on using the concrete bricks before I put those ice packs in there. So I ran it for about two hours and it never got real cold. It's, I would say it didn't work as well as the ice uh, frozen ice water bottles and uh, I ran it for two hours it dropped the temperature of the uh, I say the room it dropped the temperature coming out of the fan compared to ambient temperature or the wall temperature was about eight only dropped about eight degrees uh, below that temperature and I mean you could obviously feel it when it was blowing that the temperature was cooler but it wasn't as effective as even the frozen water bottles as far as just dropping the temperature not how long it lasted and those eight bricks and that's pretty substantial amount of uh, square foot or square space square inches um, I'd say didn't really I mean if you were in an emergency and that's all you had that would work but I wouldn't use that on a regular basis. I don't know what the temperature was on the core of the bricks, but two days freezing time in a deep freezer. So ran it for two hours, dropped the temperature uh, ambient down about eight degrees. Um, so the, and then I think the radiator itself, the surface temperature, so that that's about it dropped about eight degrees so I would not use concrete but I wanted to test it because it works really well for uh, net zero houses to heat concrete using solar just the Sun through a window and heating it but you have to have a really big cement wall like a literal wall which is a giant battery collecting solar heat all day and then it releases back out into the atmosphere in the room so you could do the same thing with uh, concrete if you had enough of it that was frozen and just set it in a room it would radiate the as the heat in the room was trying to enter the concrete bricks because heat chases cold the cold would you know leave the bricks into the into the room but as far as using it in water submerged and the water uh the water wasn't actually that hot it was, it was ambient temperature, but it was kind of cool last night, so the water was not hot. So, But anyway, concrete, not effective. It probably for a slow release might be good, but just throwing it in there in the cooler as a replacement for ice did not work that well and did not work as good as, um, definitely did not work as good as ice and did not do as well as frozen plastic bottles either. So concrete, not good to replace as a replacement for ice in an ice chest. And in a nutshell, that was the test for today. So that way the curiosity is over and we don't have to wonder because when you start researching materials that uh, when frozen, how they respond to ambient temperature, 
like ice or copper, a frozen block of aluminum, a frozen block of steel, um, concrete, and stuff like that. I was very and uh, oak wood, like uh, wood that's oak, has a similar diffusivity rate to concrete. So I, w I was going to freeze some oak wood and try that, but not not. And I know this cooler is kind of big for that amount of. Uh, uh, concrete so maybe double the concrete would do a little better but I don't think it would even compete with the frozen plastic bottles sorry to keep running on and on but I just wanted to make sure that I kind of you know put put the the mystery to rest of whether that would work um, I don't think twice as much would even do the equivalent of half the mass of frozen water inside of a plastic bottle so that's it for today y'all have a great day and uh if you like if you like it hit the like button if you don't hit the don't like button leave a comment ask a question and i did not soak these br uh, bricks in water when i before i froze them too so that's another thing which actually might have helped because there's be frozen water trapped inside the concrete but anyway i wouldn't i wouldn't uh count on using cement in place of ice or frozen water bottles. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.